Well, uh, thank you, John, for, for the invitation. Uh, good morning. Uh, this is Mary Vidal. I just, I, I just want to tell you a little more about myself and what I do for, for a living and what my patient is. Okay. And Mary, we cannot see your screen yet. Okay. Now uh, you can see it. Yes, yes, we can. Okay. Sorry. So uh, I work for AUNA. AUNA is a Peruvian group of medical uh, centers and private hospital in Peru and also in Colombia. It was founded in 2010 by Ocosalu and Enfoca. And the purpose is of AUNA is to take care of the life, to live it better. The mission is to transform the healthcare experience. And the vision is we want to be the leader of the Latin American region because we think uh, the, the, the more important is the patient. Also, we have some values. That is the excellence, integrity, empathy, collaboration, innovation. Also, Asauna uh, has in Peru two main uh, businesses. One is the insurance, cancer insurance. So uh, you can see the clinic on Gosalu. That is a facility for tre the treatment and the diagnosis of cancer. Then we have the healthcare um, facilities for general um, hospitalization, outpatient, whatever. The, the most important in Peru is Clinica Delgado. That is, um, is the reference in Peru and attend people with a high com complexity um, diseases. In Peru, AUNA uh, belongs to the private sector. You must re remember that in Peru, we have the public sector that, that are all the hospitals led by the Ministry of Health. We have the social security that are the hospital from ESALUD. We have also hospitals on private hospitals in the private sector. AUNA groups AUNA belongs to the private one. And then we have some facilities for the military and government, okay? AUNA in Peru is considered as one health, the number one healthcare operator. It, we have right now eight private hospitals and seven medical centers. We have more than 284 beds. Then we, um, in a year, we have more than uh, 540,000 outpatient consultation. We have more than uh, 4,000 uh, 4, employees in AUNA. So my journey in AUNA started in 2010. I was hired by um, the Onco Salud CEO in order to, well, you have to take care of all the medical equipment. So you have to make a proposal of what is better for us as a group, because in, in 2010, we on, only have Onco Salud as insurance and we have some medical centers and facilities and I have to uh, plan the strategy or discover the strategy in, in order that can support this uh, expansion from AUNA that started with Ponco Salud and now that has seven medical centers and eight private hospitals, okay? That is AUNA. So what I do in AUNA, I am the head of clinical engineering department and medical devices. So clinical engineering department is started in 2010 and medical devices is started in 2019. The mission of our department is to manage all the technology of the medical equipment technology, medical device technology, in order to guarantee the patient safety user satisfaction, also the profitability of AUNA business and operation. That is important to remember because we take care of the patient safety. For, for us, that is the most important. Then we have the other one that all the physician or the nurses, technician must be happy with the technology they have. They must to take advantage of it. And also another pillar that is very important is the profit, profitability. If a business is not profitable, then it won't be success, okay? For doing our mission, we have the, the following structure. We have, as, as I mentioned, a one department and we have two divisions. One division is clinical engineering that is in, in charge of the medical equipment. Clinical engineering has also three main areas. One is maintenance, the other one is project management, and the other one is purchasing or acquisition. Then we have medical devices that also it has um, this uh, it doesn't have these internal areas because we work as a we take care of for example for uh, for uh, purchasing we support this this process with a purchasing department for doing the, uh, the maintenance we work with fa facility management and, and and so on so this is the structure we um, and we right now are, are 20 people. So we start being just one person in 2010. Now we are 20 people. Most of them, most of my team are engineers. I am also an engineer. Um, we have one nurse that is uh, the leader for the medical devices. And also I have one license in, in, in medical equipment. We take care of eight private hospital and seven medical centers. So we take 
care of all AUNA facilities in Peru. We manage more than 3,000 medical equipment. And just a, a, a very quick note, we consider a medical equipment, for example, a, a laparoscopic tower. We do not consider a medical equipment, the endoscope that monitor the processor. So each of them is just one medical e equipment. Then we take care of more than 42 million medical assets. We have some savings annually in just in maintenance, about $1 million. We take, take care and control of 100% of the life cycle of that medical equipment. So we do the evaluation, we do the planning, we do the acquisition, we, we lead the negotiation process in the acquisition. We do the maintenance and we do the, uh, at the final dis disposition. So we are 20 people uh, and our model of management is centralized. We have like a corporate office that are lead with, with, uh, with me and with my leaders in, in maintenance, project management, pur purchasing and medical devices. And we do, we do the guidelines and we do the, all the things that all the facilities needs in order every, everybody works at the same, with the same methodology. For doing that, we have some fundamental principles and fundamental processes. First, in management, we just, we don't just want to do all the preventive maintenance, all the corrective maintenance. We, our focus is that that equipment must be worked properly and have to be uh, safe for the patient. And also it has to be used, very well used for, uh, for the user. In purchasing, we just, uh, we just, uh, just, we don't just buy the, the medical equipment. We just have to design the, the particular strategy in order to, uh, to gain the highest possible value in order to, to for example, to make a, a very good uh, purchasing, consider not only the, the cost, con consider that it, it is very, very good for this treatment, for this diagnosis, it's, it's very good for this facility, whatever. And in project management, we have to guarantee that the projects are in time, cost, and scope. So we meet this project in time, and scope, and cost. And for uh, and the four and the last uh, fundamental process is to the involvement with the business. So we, as clinical engineering department, we have to assure, we have to anticipate our need in order to be to uh, to have the technology technological uh, leadership in this process. And for, and for that, it's also important that teamwork, as, as uh, Almir and Tom mentioned in the leadership principle, the teamwork, working as a team is, is very important. And your team, when, we, when you are a leader, your team must shine. The leader shine through the team um, um, capa capability. So th that is important that your, uh, your team has been de uh, well developed, has the, has the resources, could make some ex executive presentation or whatever. So that, that is what we do in AUNA. So through these years, 10 years until now, we can uh, mention some, some achievement that we, uh, uh, we got. The first one is that we create an area from scratch, from zero, we, we create an area, clinical engineering department that adds value to AUNA. Adds value to AUNA is very important. We are not just a support area, we are just as a strategic su support area. We are part of the decision-making table. So when we want to implement a new facility, we are just part of this decision-making table in order to see hey, in, 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 which, in which city, uh, with, with, uh, what kind of medical equipment we can implement, what are the, the services that we want to implement. So we are part of that. And another thing that is, is, is very accomplished is that we, we have participated in the 100% AUNA projects. And we do that with a, satisfactory results in time, scope, and cost. Also, AUNA in Peru, clinical engineering in, in AUNA is a leading management model, has a leading management model. We are referenced in the national way and also in international. Also, we um, maximize all the investment and we maximize all the use of medical equipment. And also, it's, it's very important that your team are happy working in, in your area. We have that 89% of world climate, that, that, that is very good and very important because we are one of the top lead in, in AUNA. And we have evolved since 2010 from beginning basic maiden activities, resection of training, to do the budgeting, to do the, the, the management and support model, to do the pre installation information, to be and to, uh, to present some executive presentation, to management reports, to lead the, the 
be the leader of the purchasing and negotiation process, doing the proposals, to be the plans for the continuity of the operation, to design some disruptive strategies for achieve efficiencies. And now we are thinking in a regional model. What, what have we done? What have we gained in Aguna, Peru? It, can, it could be replicated in another part of the, of, of, of the Latin America countries. So we are working in that. Also, it's, it's, it's important to mention that all of this, all of this we have gained through this, some of these tips. So we have some tips for, for the communication with the hospital level management, with the C suite, with the health system level management, and also for Minister of Health. In presentation, a meeting with, with said suites, I recommend you. First of all, you have to shine of what you are capable, capable of and believe it yourself and make this, the said suite knows you, they must know, know you, must trust you. You have to show your knowledge, your idea. You have to know, show also that you know the value generation model. You are not just an operation area, a support one, you have to be strategic. To be strategic, you have to know how this facility makes the revenue. How, how can we constrain costs? How can we help them to sell more, sell more um, consultations, sell, uh, sell more hospitalization? So it's, it's, it's very important, it's very key that you know how they, they made the money. Another thing is, it's not enough to be, but to appear. So if you wanna be treated like a manager, you have to look like a manager. If you wanna be treated like a technician, you look like, as a technician, it's, it's very important that you, you show that you can manage everything, that you can make it possible for uh, because for the sales suite, it's very important that if they ask you something, you don't have to say, hey, I cannot do that. You, uh, you must answer, hey, let me check it and I'm gonna make it possible. That's what managers do. Also, you have to be a master in communication. So you have to shine for uh, how to your, your present your ideas, how you present these ideas in an executive proposal. You just have um, five, 10 minutes to, to get their attention. So you have to talk in, in their language. Th that is very important. Also, this is for com a, a communication and, and as Almir and Tom mentioned in the leadership principle, but also you don't have to forget that you have to, it, it is preferable to, to have someone to follow, to admire, like a mentor, and also in the sales suite has someone that has his, sponsor you that can see can mention all that achievement to the other said uh, said suite and that 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 helps a lot and also and very important is to have pa a patient yes of, of what you do is you have to be patient you have to be a lot of attitude you have to invest in actualization updating in experience in networking also it's very important to, to work hard and persist you be a master if you practice what you do that, okay? And also with your team, you have to develop talent and empower the team. It is important that you just, you just you shine through your team. And remember that we are technology managers. We are technology managers, are clinical engineers that add value to the organization with a focus and are focused with the patient safety, the user satisfaction and the profitability of the business. One last thing I would like to mention is the Peruvian Association of Clinical Engineers because all the things that we have done in AUNA uh, with, a, with a, some friends we wanted to share with an other people around the country. So we found um, a speak by the end of December of 2017 to promote um, the continued development of CE in Peru. Our main achievement until now, are, we are 76 associated. We have a collaboration agreement with ACCE. We have done uh, some activities of social responsibility events. So it, if, if we talk about the communication with the Minister of Health, that is a working process because I don't know if you guys here in Peru, we have a crisis in the economical, sanitary and political way. So we have to try hard in that. And what's, one last thing I would like to share with you is if you work for, in a clinical engineering department, you must remember that we do everything for a patient. It is worthless if you have the best equipment, the best technology or the best management system if your patient do not receive an email and dignified treatment. That is what we call humanization in health. Thank you very much. Incredible job, Mary, incredible job. We are gonna to move to our friends from Australia now. We do have that Q&A section at the end and put things in the box as uh, Almir already told you and take it away, Australia. 